In order to handle large-scale systems such as electric power systems, it has become increasingly necessary to go beyond simply automating and improving the efficiency of conventional operation and control methods and teach an understanding of more complicated phenomena and activity in order to help operators deal effectively with operations and the growth in complexity of equipment. Against this background, Tokyo Electric Power Company and Mitsubishi Electric have developed the hyper simulator Simple as a learning environment to teach an understanding of the complex structures and phenomena of large-scale systems. The concept of hypersimulation combines the function of multidimensional information management that a hypertext has with the function of generating various phenomena that a simulator has in order to produce a simulating environment that is both multidimensional and able to provide an understanding from various approaches. Simple offers hypermedia techniques, simulation techniques, and the products of cognitive science, all integrated in a state-of-the-art learning environment. Simple makes it possible to grasp a complex object by considering it from three different approaches. Cognitive science has shown clearly that in order to understand a difficult object, it is necessary to study it from various angles. A theoretical understanding, which is the ability to understand an object mathematically as an argument. Intuitive understanding, which is the ability to grasp an object as a mentally perceived image. Empirical understanding, which is the ability to understand an object experientially through actual manipulation. Simple offers four environments in order to provide these three approaches visual interface that gives a strong feeling of actual manipulation, a multi-view interface that allows the user to develop a clear grasp of complicated phenomena, an object-oriented type of simulation modeling with advanced modularity and expandability, and a hypertext type database that can handle various phenomena multidimensionally. Simple makes use of two displays. On the left, a monochrome display showing the database menu and simulations of model construction and operations. And on the right, a color display where graphs can be drawn. Let's look at the three functions Simple has. Constructing models, multidimensional managing of the models, and simulation of the system from various aspects, taking as an example its presentation of the dynamics of an electric power system. The model that is to be used as an object of study is easily constructed by use of a mouse. First then, let's construct a model of an electric power system. To begin with, we shall copy the buses from the icon menu. and join them by a power transmission line. The internal variables of each of the components can be directly set by using a tool. Alternatively, the menu can be called up and numerical values input. Let's see how this can be done using voltage values. Component voltage is given in the form of a numerical value and in the form of a gauge reading in this scalar tool. If the gauge reading is altered directly by means of the mouse, the related data are automatically updated. In this case, because the bus voltages are also being monitored by the vector tool, the vector expressions are simultaneously updated. For managing the model, the multidimensional data managing method used in hypertext is employed. 
there are two methods of management. Managing the whole database by database menu window and managing the related data by linking the model to the text and icons in the simulation window. The database is shown in tree form, as seen here and managed visually. Calling up models can be done directly, either by selecting items in the tree or by selecting linked items in the text by mouse. Let's call up a model of a two-bus power system onto the simulation window. And then, in the same way, call up a model of a power transmission line. In this way, by use of the database menu window, we can call given models onto the simulation window. From the contents of the database, the object of simulation can be presented and modeled on three levels. The system level, the component level, and the circuit level. When we access the subordinate component level from the system level, we can investigate component behavior in greater detail. Now let's call up a model of a power transmission line and investigate its particular characteristics. This is an internal model of the power line. We can now see resistance and reactance along the line and capacitors between the line and the ground expressed by vertical branches. At this level too, in the same way as was referred to earlier, any of the parameters can be changed and simulation applied. Let's simulate a change in the power transmission line characteristics. At this level, there is a text to describe the model both by vector relationships and mathematically. Each parameter in the mathematical expressions is monitored and linked with the others in each simulation. We can therefore firmly grasp visually how the value of each parameter changes and at the same time, how the vector relationships change. At the circuit level, the general ideas of instantaneous value and phase angularity and voltages and current, which do not appear at the system level, can be investigated. According to level, there are differences in the general concepts in the phenomena and state variables. But as symbol is able to move easily backward and forward between levels, we are able to get a clear picture of each concept and state. Simple is composed of six software modules. The six are an icon modeler, which defines each component icon, a model editor, which constructs and stores the models, a model viewer, which produces changes in the way phenomena are observed, a model controller, which establishes the conditions for simulation, a database modeler, which presents various views of the database, and a math modeler, which generates the behavior of the model as a whole. With the exception of the math modeler, which is written in Fortran, all the modules are written in the object-oriented language Flavors, which is an extension of Lisp. Well now, how can we use the hypersimulator Simple in practice? Let's look at an example. These waveforms show a condition in which an unstable voltage phenomenon has developed in a large system. When a drop in system voltage occurs as a result of a rapid increase in demand for electric power, capacitors are activated as a countermeasure to raise the voltage. But in this case, the activation of the capacitors has had the opposite effect, and the voltage has fallen even lower. In order to operate a system safely, it is most essential that the operators understand the mechanism that causes phenomena like this to develop. Let's use simple to recreate the same effect. When we increase the number of capacitors from zero to one and then to two, the voltage at the receiving end drops. 
This can be seen from the numerical values and the arrow shown by the tool, and also from plotted points. Let's graph this effect and show it in the right-hand display. The vertical axis represents voltage, and the horizontal axis represents transmission power. As the points at which the curved line and the straight line intersect correspond to the voltage at the receiving end, there are therefore two solutions for the receiving end voltage. It is easy to see that the present condition is one of low voltage. In other words, an unstable voltage condition. Now let's increase the number of capacitors and see what effect this produces on the graph. The graph bulges progressively. We shall plot the curves together. The mechanism of the unstable voltage phenomenon by which, in this way, the low voltage falls progressively lower can easily be identified from the graph. We can also understand the behavior of the voltage theoretically from the mathematical equations. From the analytically developed mathematical expressions, we can understand that there are two voltage conditions at the receiving end, and also what sort of changes occur in the voltage as a result of changes in the system. In addition, we can call up more complex systems and increase our understanding of the unstable voltage phenomenon. By means of such hypersimulation, SIMPLE offers a multidimensional, many-sided simulation environment and therefore a deeper understanding of system phenomena can be obtained. Moreover, as a menu-driven editor that can write and store new models is available, SIMPLE can be employed in many fields besides electric power systems. In order to secure the safety and reliability of large-scale complex systems, such as electric power systems, the education and training of the operators concerned with the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance is increasingly becoming more important than ever. To deal effectively with this situation, this state-of-the-art educational support system has been developed as the engineer's new thinking tool. The hyper-simulator simple.